Hey guys, I'm Twin Turbo V8, and we're going to be installing this heatsink and motor fan to my Traxxas e Revo 2.0. I bought this because I plan on gearing up my e Revo to actually hit the 70 mile an hour mark. And I hear a lot of things from people that when you gear up the motor, it likes to heat up a lot. So that's why I got this fan. So, let's get it on here. I believe the first thing that you have to do is undo the receiver because that's where the motor fan will plug into. Hold on, this is the wrong thing. I believe this is the right one. Let's get it in there and unscrew the receiver box. Please excuse my rusty screw heads. I've seen a lot of people complaining about them. <laughs> yeah, they are pretty rusty. I mean, what am I gonna do about it? <laughs> so let's get the cap off. I've actually never been in this receiver. So, this receiver looks exactly like the one that was in my Stampede. So let's take a look here. Look, it looks like it has some labels on here. Got him. Bait channel. I'm gonna try and look at what these labels say, and I'll pick it up later. I have no idea where I'm supposed to plug this in, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna plug it into different channels, and we'll see what they do. First, let's... There's actually three things taken up. I assume there's the two servos and the motor and stuff, so let's plug it into channel four. Okay, that's plugged in. Let me get my batteries. All right, guys, as you might may or may not be able to see in there, I actually got the fan working. I just plugged it into a different channel on the receiver. And now I'm going to try and get it placed on the motor and somehow get these wires all nice looking so i'll be right back again all right so we got the fan going the wire is basically not there you can barely see it not sure if it's supposed to be touching the motor let me know in the comments if i should move that but fans going esc is going everything is going fine spinning the wheels yeah servos aren't very high torque i'm getting brand new servos well not servos i'm gonna do a single servo conversion with a high torque servo so those wheels will actually, you know, turn. And I would love to give it a run, but if you look outside... Yeah, it's kind of raining. Um, so instead... Let's, I'm just going to grab the controller and make sure everything works. Yeah, and everything's in working order. Perfect. Wasn't the greatest video, but that's one of the parts that I just got for my e Revo 2.0, this motor fan. And now, I had ordered aluminum push rods, but I didn't know they were for the 116th model, so now I have to wait. I gotta get my money back, and then I can go get the correct ones. I have other parts coming in. Um such as limiting straps for the suspension. That'll be fun, because a lot of people say they're lifesavers, and I got 105 millimeter straps, though a YouTuber, Outsourced RC, had replied to, a, to one of my comments saying, 105 millimeters may be too long, and if it is too long, I can try what he did in his video and put like a spacer here so I can limit it even more, just in case. And then, just so I can make better RC videos, I got a phone stand for the transmitter, which should be coming in as well. Yep, thank you for watching my video, and if you enjoyed, I like making- I like making this RC content, because, you know, it's like, I'm a car person, and working on these little things by myself is fun. I, I really like doing this kind of stuff. So if you want to see more stuff with my eRevo 2.0, I mean, let me know down in the comments. I'm going to make more stuff anyway, but if you like this kind of stuff, 
please let me know. Thanks for watching.